Hey there guys, welcome to the Amazing Brick Network. I'm Tori Favreau, I hope that this video finds you well. As always, we have got so much to show you this week. Brick builds from around the world, news, sets, there is so much going on in the world of Lego at the moment. It's truly an exciting time and I'm so glad that you guys are all a part of it. I'm really excited to let you know that this week we've finally got some video showing a face other than my own. Um, so make sure that you do watch through the video. Now, if you have been featured before on the Amazing Brick Network, you'll see, or if you've watched the show, you'll see that generally like I will get photos that you've built and then I do a commentary over the top of them. There's been some amazing, I use that word a lot, but it's the Amazing Brick Network, amazing Lego idea submissions by our members. So your friends, it might even be you. I'm encouraging and inviting you to film yourself talking about your inspiration for the build, what you wanted to achieve when you build it, some interesting parts of the build, maybe tricky techniques that people may not have thought of. I would love, love, love to have other people on the show. So it is without no small amount of pleasure that um, we've finally got that happening this week. And I cannot wait for you guys to see what we do have in store. So I'm not going to take up too much of your time. We need to get straight to these fantastic builds, news. But as always, you know, I want to say hello to everyone and just let you know, happy building, all right? Make sure that your day is filled with joy. And I do hope that you are having so much fun. Whichever group in the Amazing Brick Network that you prefer, I hope that you're having a ball because we are enjoying having you as part of our fantastic community. Myself, this week I've been working on the corner modular, which I have been recording, so that will be coming out next week. It's just a time-lapse build, but you know, not everyone's got that particular set, so you'll be able to see it built from start to finish. It's a couple of thousand bricks in that set, and I'm quite happy with it. There were some fiddly parts to it, that's for sure. It is a challenge in some of the areas, and it did make me second-guess myself, even with the instructions, but I've had a blast, and I've also still been getting the, the minifigures ready on their little stands. I've got so much more of them to do as well. But without further ado, let's get straight onto the news. Please like and subscribe. Please share with your friends. It really, I need you to help me, to help us make this a bigger and better channel featuring builds from all over the world and most importantly, builds made by you. Thanks for watching. Let's go for it. Kicking off the news this week, guys, we had some news from DC Fandom Event. This is a special edition Wonder Woman uh, set that is coming out. It's available for pre-order on uh, the Walmart site right now. So it does look as though, if, if you've got a Walmart, you will be able to get it. It does look beautiful. However, yeah, it looks as though America are the lucky ones for this one. I really hope that you do take advantage of it. I think it retails for about $40 and is absolutely beautiful. So make sure that you do peep that set out if you get the chance. Another North American exclusive, the Bespin Jewel, the Star Wars set. Um, it was meant to be like, it's been classified as an event set at 295 pieces, set 75294. It shows the quintessential scene between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker as, obviously, no spoilers intended, but the biggest spoiler of them all, I am your father. Such a beautiful looking set. I think it is a real shame that it is not going to be available to people around the world, but people in North America... This is going to be a fantastic set, well worth getting. It's so detailed. Check out the picture here. Lots of nice little features. I think it'll be a great little demonstration piece. And it is so true to the movie scene. I am utterly wrapped with the level of detail that is here. And I think it's just going to be so much fun to build and have somewhere prominent, especially for you Star Wars fans out there. And I certainly know that there are plenty of you in the Lego community who love their Star Wars, myself included. Love me the Star Wars. So I can't wait to somehow get my hands on this set, even though I'm in Australia. I might see if one of the community can pick me up one and send it on over so as I can have a bit of a play too. Make sure you do get your hands on this when it becomes available, okay? This next item here had me utterly... Oh, utterly stuck for words. There you go. It's Lego and Ikea. But basically, um, they have Ikea has built a set that you can build Lego on. And it's, I'm going to say this wrong, it's the Big Lek. 
They've got a lot of words that, uh, yeah, I don't have a clue how to say. It does look interesting, though. So stay tuned for that one. <music> Onto the modulars. Thank you, Xi. I hope I said that correct. Or it's Kui. Um, but check out this build here. Absolutely awesome. I love the level of detail. Look at the, and the storage behind. Seriously, I'm very jealous of your storage situation there. Lots and lots of lovely containers filled with bricks. I like the fact that you've got that set up. I'd be keen to see other people's setups too, just to see what they're doing with them. It's so much fun. I get almost as much pleasure out of sorting my Lego as building it. I, I, I think it's the OCD in me, but I'm sure that many of you are the same. This is filled with detail. Thank you for sending it through. Now, Jacob said he's new to the group, building his first mock house in studio, trying to recreate his actual current house as true to possible, so he can piece it out on BrickLink and attach it to his modulars. Has anyone ever built their real house? He'd love to see pictures, and he'll post some when he finishes. I love this idea, Jacob. Thank you for asking the question in the group. And of course, the group answered, and I was just wrapped with what people sent through. Quentin, thank you for sending this through. This is Quentin's representation of his own house. It looks fantastic. Ashley is next. Now, Ashley does have a little bit more to add to this. She was very quick to tell me, but uh, I do love this detail going straight through there to the window scene. Utterly beautiful, packed with detail inside too. Absolutely beautiful. You can see by the plate work on top that it is going to be fully modular and dollhouse and lift the lid off. I love it. Sally, thank you for sending through your example also. Beautiful, colorful, vibrant, filled with detail. We can't ask for more. Giorgio, love this building. Can't wait to see more of it, my friend. Keep up the fantastic work. And finally, we have Ian Wright, who's done this beautiful building here. Ian, if this is your place, I'm a little bit jealous. Finally, we jump through to Cliff Johnson, getting off topic now. He did the Tribune Tower in Oakland. Look at this beautiful, massive building. So packed full of detail. This would have taken forever ever this is such and i have seen a photo of the original building this is like true to form it's an absolute masterpiece my friend i'm so glad that you could share it with the group i really really do enjoy what i'm looking at here lepra lego sent this through to um it's called the brick walk to lego ideas it looks absolutely beautiful i like i want to own this I can't tell you how much I want to. Um, there is so much detail. Let's make our way through a couple of pictures now. Just look at the look at the detail there. Even on the the sidewalk, you've got the brick walk sign. I even love like the masonry. Then you turn it around. It sort of doll houses. So this is not a modular per se, though it would fit very well as a facade for your modular buildings. The level of detail, though, wow! I I would love to see this as a fully realized you know, put together to the modular specification. This is nothing short of beautiful. Please make sure that you do uh, look up Lepra Lego on the ideas and make sure that you do support this endeavor because it's beautifully thought out, beautifully realized, and the attention to detail is stunning. Jose, I am in love with this picture. It's only a short one, but look how clean that city looks. Thank you so much. So this is the first time I've had all my modular buildings out all at once so the alternative build from the Disney castle and do a costume shop a double build of the Parisian restaurant assembly square that's one of my favorites I think Double build of the detective's office. Grand Emporium, which was the first one that I got. Downtown Diner. Corner Garage, which is I believe the last one that I've gotten. Fire Brigade, which I built from my own parts in Bricklink. So the front doors 
are different. I think the back doors are a different color. Other than that, it's all as it should be. Pet shop uh, townhouses. I did mirror builds of that. And a double palace cinema. There's the a little bit taller pet shop added the floor to it. It's the corner drugstore from the first Lego neighborhood book with the truck build in there. Brick bank. And then the cafe museum, which is an alternative build from the Tower Bridge set, which I did some modifies to. So there's all my modulars. Thanks, Joe. That was absolutely stunning. Sean sent this through. I love this. Thank you, Sean. Sean Jackson sent this through. It's an alternate road build. I've done this technique myself before. Basically, what you're doing is you're making a road using standard bricks, but you're laying them on their side. It does allow for a more glossy road surface. It does use a lot of bricks, but the beauty of it is, guys, as you can see here, we've got Technic pins being used, but um, you can build a far more detailed road and maybe using the line work that is what you would have in your particular country. You can also be building words into the road. It does allow for a, a highly glossy appearance that I think is rather stunning. Running. So this is something that I would love for, to see other people doing. It's perfect for dioramas, that's for sure. Though the brick count may prove to be prohibitive in a large-scale city environment. Not only that, but you are building upwards, so it does present its own challenges. Jeff Pinkerton. Jeff has been a member of the group for some time, and he does utterly fantastic work. You may have seen his modular buildings being put on the site in the past. Jeff's been really good in mentoring other members of the group as well. We have a lot of praise that how Jeff does get involved and help people. So, Jeff, I wanted to say thank you. And he's done so many buildings, I thought we'd take the time to actually just run through a lot of them quickly just to show you what is available there. So if you do like these designs, Jeff does sell the instructions. Uh, this certainly isn't an ad for his work, but it does need to be recognized that he works hard on these things and they're beautifully realized and rendered. And some of the colors that he's used are just absolutely sensational. I am a big fan of his designs. They're functional. They make you think about how you may be able to use those layouts in your city. And they're just a lot of fun. They are achievable for the most part with readily available bricks. There isn't anything here that you would have to source too hard in order to build. And as you can see, when they do dollhouse out, they're certainly packed with enough detail to satisfy even the fussiest of us. So there's certainly a lot of detail that Jeff packs in. But like I said, you can readily find these parts. There's not going to be any $50, $60 brick parts from a BrickLink order in order to get this finished. It's just beautifully well done. Though, I must admit, as much as I adore this one, I think that green color is going to be a little bit expensive. Though, of course, Lego, it's all about your imagination and your ideas. You don't have to use the colors that he's got here. It's simply the ideas here. And if you like me, like I do, I don't mind tinkering at all, though I do admit our members have got so many great ideas that like I'm so inspired by what they build. Sometimes I would rather just follow their instructions and, and make my version of what they've already created because it is just magnificent. I, every week when I'm like doing the admin for this, uh, for all the groups, I am always inspired by what you guys are actually making. It's stunning to say the least. It's so much fun to look at what you guys can come up with. And I appreciate it every time someone posts one of these beautiful, beautiful creations on one of the groups. So Jeff, thank you. But everyone, thank you so very much. Marson, thank you so much for sending this through. I love this. So his Lego Ideas ID is Sleepless Night. He's put this castle setting up here. And check out the photoshopping. It's just so cool. It's like I could imagine this taking place, you know, somewhere in Europe with the snow and everything like that. This is just 
utterly beautiful. The layout is stunning. He's packed, filled with detail. And even the use of minifigures for great effect. Because as you can see there, the crossbow being aimed at the apple. Such a great sense of humor to all of these photos. They're just... I love them, um, and I do love the incorporation of the Lego build into real-world environment as well. It's extremely clever. It is something that you know I love seeing personally, and I am sure that over time, you guys might like to see a lot more of it. So join the amazing Lego Castle group to really get involved um, and just be a part of everything just that little bit more, because it is just brilliant. Lego friends, Lisa, thank you for sending through this really cute picture. I love it, Unikitty rocking out there. Everything is cool with Lego Friends, so please be sure to add more on. Off to Potter World we are. Kieran, thank you for sending this through. This is an old school uh, Potter set, as you can tell there. I do absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful, and I do have many of those sets, so keep them coming, guys. Christy, thank you through, for sending through this beautiful pumpkin head. I am sure that people are going to adore this come Halloween time. It's really clever. And finally, we've got Sean. Sean sent through this really funny picture that he's created. I love it. And you don't have to do a great deal to get such beautiful effect using your minifigures. They're for little faces that tell a story, albeit this one, even though I'm laughing, it's quite a gruesome story, but um, it's just such a ridiculous amount of fun that you can't help but be in awe of it. I want to see more minifigure pictures. I love them. So uh, this is just such a great, great little photo. I had to show you guys so we could all appreciate it all the much more. Enrico, train repair shop and fueling station. This is amazing, mate. I can't wait to see more detail. Thank you. Caleb, thank you for sending this through. This is the Breakwater Pass Railroad. Now, this is an absolutely stunning rendition. I'm going to show you more photos in another episode, but I wanted to get this show out, and Caleb was good enough to supply me with a lot more video, uh, or photos, I should say. I'm waiting on the video, Caleb. Um, this is a stunning, stunning build. I love the use of color, the use of detail. It is just nothing short of magnificent, and just is testament to just how clever you guys all are i'm loving the amount of detail that we're getting to see within the group i want to see more next week we'll have more lego trains but check that out it is nothing short of brilliant now get ready guys we're going to meet ben crute who built this beautiful bentley blower and in just a moment he is going to explain all about it take it away ben Hello, my name is Ben Crute. Uh, I'm 18 years old and I have built this Lego model of a Bentley blower. I chose this car because I wanted to look into a classic. And this is very much so uh, a classic British racing icon from the late 1920s. The model features a removable bonnet to reveal the engine. It's got working steering uh, and a Technic drive shaft that you can see underneath the car that's linked to the engine um, so that when the rear wheels are pushed the crankshaft will turn in the engine. You can see that I've used two different uh, new colours here, a British racing green and a camouflage green um, and to do this I had to actually spray paint uh, all the parts individually. The model is on the Lego Ideas website and it currently has uh, an amazing 5,500 supporters uh, so please do head over there and give your vote. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks so much, Ben. I do appreciate you taking the time to film that. Guys, get behind this. I mean, look at the detail. Who would not want this in their collection? I'm not even a car guy so much. I would buy this set in an instant. It's nothing short of stunning. I do like the fact that he's made his own colors there and I can't wait to see this get the recognition that it deserves and I cannot wait for you guys to be supporting that on Lego Ideas. David, this is gorgeous. It's a new stand. It's been like rendered using a computer. I love this. This would be so perfect in a modular city environment. It's fully realized and detailed. It's absolutely beautiful. And it is something that I could imagine seeing out on the street of Lego City. Magnificent. 
I love this coming up. Maria sent this, her Lego um, Ideas ID is Mind the Brick. She made this amazing postcard to promote her watermill build for Lego Ideas that she's sending to Lego. And the creativity of this staggered me. Like this is going next step. I know we're, we love the brick and we're all about it, but check that out. I love this, Maria. Thank you so very much for sending me through the files. I adore it. Noel, what a collection. This is absolutely stunning, my friend. I would love to see these ships all having a massive battle. And Simon, great build, my friend. I do like this. I love the use of color. I love how you've put it all together. This is going to be an absolutely stunning build when fully completed. And I can't wait to see the end result. Steve sent this through to the group. Take your time and just let your eyeballs soak in all the piratey goodness here. It's nothing short of stunning, but all of his ships in one beautiful photo. Words don't describe how happy this particular sequence of photos makes me. Great work, and please show us more. Pantalus, this is gorgeous. Thank you for sending this through. Um, Pantalus posted on the group, I love the use of the um, translucent blue studding for the water. It's one of those funny things you've got to get used to seeing bricks not clicked, but it is nothing short of wonderful, and I am utterly in love with the layout. I just think, as always, whenever you put something up, my friend, I want to share it because it just looks beautiful. It's just so clean basically the look is clean i know you've taken some fantastic shots of it there and there's certainly nothing to be argued with at all keep them coming please i love your work navi thank you for sending through this very cool little picture of our pirates i love it please keep doing it all right guys well that wraps up the latest show thank you so much for watching please make sure that you do like and subscribe share it with your friends share the lego love with everyone we're a fantastic community of builders and i'm so proud that i can present this all to you on a weekly basis make sure that you support each other that you're looking after each other and most of all make sure you guys that you do nothing but have happy building thanks for listening bye